Hey guys, Trevor with Shadow Systems. It's Technical Tuesday. And today we're going to answer some questions that have come in recently about um, uh, observations that customers have made either at the target or maybe even on the gun uh, after shooting certain kinds of ammunition. And there's even been concern, well, I think my barrel is defective. I see this, you know, the shiny material on the front of the barrel and maybe that means the finish is coming off. Um, that's actually lead. That's lead accumulating with kind of a lower grade, uh, lower grade full metal jacket bullet. And so I'm going to actually show you the difference and that not all FMJ bullets are created equal. In fact, a lot of them I wouldn't even really call FMJ, but they're sold that way. So I want you to see the difference and then I'll sort of show you on a target what the difference is. Okay. So I've got some ammunition here on, uh, on the table. So these are, you know, nine millimeter blazer, um, and then also the, uh, the federal 115 grain. Okay. So they're both sold as FMJ. Um, and then this one is also sold as FMJ. This happens to be Fiocchi. Now, in my opinion, the only one that's a true FMJ would actually, in this case, be the Fiocchi. Now they use kind of a brass, uh, jacket. Okay. You may also, of course, see copper, but these, I would consider these, uh, federal ones, I would consider just to be a basic copper wash or copper plated bullet. Um, and it is different. And I'm going to explain what the difference is. So in a FMJ, uh, the, the cup that forms the jacket is actually stamped or formed. It is a piece of sheet material that's stamped. And then the, the lead core is swaged into the back of it usually, which creates basically a, a very thick cup around the projectile, okay? The the copper wash type bullet, if you pull this one out, and again, this is I think the blazer, um, if you pull this one out, you'll see that it's actually got copper over all sides of it. And they also tend to be more shiny. So this is a copper plated bullet, right? So the difference is this is starts out as a lead core and then goes through a plating process, which puts a very thin layer of copper on it. Um, why does that matter? Well, it, for practice ammunition, it, it really doesn't. I mean, between the two, I would say the F, the true FMJ bullet is a higher quality bullet. But I mean, from, for all purposes that you might have at the range, they're both basically equal. The difference is you are going to have more leading and you are going to maybe have some interesting observations on the target if you're shooting something that's a copper washed bullet. Um, by the way, maybe just for fun, I'll show you kind of how thin these jackets are. So here's just a knife you know, one or two cuts and I'll probably be through to the lead core. Yeah, there's lead, right? So that was actually pretty easy. Um, whereas with a true FMJ bullet, I mean, yes, I get it, this is brass, but I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm gonna be at this all day to get through it because it's a lot thicker, okay? So that's kind of the difference. All right, so then what happens? Well, when the bullet's going down the barrel, if it's a copper wash bullet, those, those lands, are actually cutting into the side of the copper wash. And that means that lead is getting exposed on the sides. And so if you were to recover the copper wash or copper plated style bullet, you know, in a bucket of water, you would see, you know, silver lines on the side of it where as it's gone down the barrel, the thin plating has been taken off. Whereas if you were shooting a true FMJ bullet, then when you recovered it, it would just be all one solid, either brass or copper color usually, because it's it's got a thick jacket that's not being worn through by the uh, by the, the barrel. All right, so um, let's go ahead and put some on the target and you'll actually get to see it. So here's what I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna shoot the, um, the true FMJ bullets first so that you kind of get a baseline and then we'll shoot a couple of each of these copper wash style uh, FMJ bullets so you can see the difference. And you know, if you're wanting to tell which ones you have, um, you can kind of look at the bullet and if it's a copper bullet, but it's kind of got like an orange peely kind of texture on it, almost like, like textured drywall sort of, or it's really shiny, that's usually indicative of a copper wash uh, bullet, okay? So, uh, so in order, here's what I'm gonna shoot. I'm going to shoot the uh, FMJ stuff first, and I actually have a federal HST that I'll stack on the top. So we're going to have one round of HST, copper jacket at hollow point, two rounds of the Fiocchi, copper uh, or, or FMJ bullet, and then two rounds of the federal and two rounds of the blazer, and you'll see the difference. Check it out. Okay, so we're going to go hot right here. So up first, here's an HST. Here is a, uh, a Fiocchi FMJ, two of them. Here is the Federal, get ready. 
You see the difference? And then here is a couple blazers. All right, so same deal. So you can see that all of that lead is being exposed as the round is going down the barrel, okay? And that's what it looks like. Whereas over here, yeah, we've got some kind of uh, powder burn you can see on there, but the HST and the Fiocchi FMJ rounds didn't do that. Okay, so um, what may happen if you shoot a whole lot of this stuff is you'll start to see kind of like silver on the muzzle, all right, and that's the lead the hot lead being kind of blasted back toward the muzzle as the bullet leaves, and that causes leading to accumulate on the barrel. Now this barrel's not showing any of it because it was clean when we started, but you can kind of sort of see the lines forming. And if you shot a lot of it, you would definitely see it, okay? Um, so if you see some shiny stuff on the end of your barrel, it doesn't mean the barrel's defective. It doesn't mean that the finish is coming off. It probably just means that you're shooting a copper plated type bullet and that's causing some leading at the muzzle. All right, hope that was helpful, and we will see you next week.